everyone. Welcome to a new episode of One Vision, or shall I say, One Vision Fintech Fuse. There is a big story behind it, and I'm so excited to tell everyone and to have my two wonderful lady co-hosts joining me today as Barb McLean and Stephanie Foster. Hey, hey. Hi, Hi. Hey. So excited Hi. to be here. I am super excited to have you both on as regular. As those of you who have been listening to our show for the past few years, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. The show has gone through quite a few iterations, shall we say. It started with Arun and Ify partnering for the first season on blockchain. And then Arun and myself took over talking about the wonderful world of longevity and fintech. And then myself and Brad took over and we talked about everything and anything under the sky through Beyond Good. And we ran a couple of seasons with uh, fun interviews with book authors, women and innovators for around the world. And I think it is time for a change. So we are going to launch Fintech Fuse and is going to be with Barb and Stephanie and myself, three women from three different corners of North America, talking about things that matter to us and things that I hope will resonate with you all. So let's do a quick update first. Barb, what are you up to? Well, these days I'm a proud Canadian um, straying south of the border and uh, I've had a really great adventure for the last six months working with the team at Coastal Community Bank. Those of you paying attention to either community banking or banking as a service in the U.S. probably know us as people that are doing interesting things over there in the state of Washington. So uh, it's been great Shout out to the team there. I thank them all for their warm welcomes and can't wait to talk to others that are, you know, doing great things on this side of the border as well. Yes, that's always fun. I, I do love what you guys are doing, so I can't wait to see what else you're going to be able to cook up there. Stephanie, what about you? You have had quite a busy, crazy year. Yeah. Uh, so again, thank you so much, Theo. I'm very excited and looking forward to starting this new journey of Fintech Fuse with you and Barb. Um, very, less, very similar story to Barb here. Um, I am all in with community banking, uh, celebrating about eight months with the ICBA, Independent Community Bankers of America, running their Tech Tech Accelerator program, uh, just wrapped up our first program of the year with six cohort companies, six amazing founders, uh, really changing the game and uh, deposit gathering and retention and also in the faster payment space, taking a little bit of a breather during the summer, right before we launch our fall cohort from September through December. Uh, so I'm super excited, looking forward to the fall and all the amazing things that we're doing at Innovation at the ICBA. I can't wait to hear more. I still need to go down to Atlanta and visit you guys once your office is completely set up. I love talking to startups. That's one of the fun things about being in the space. There's always something cool and interesting to talk about. So I want to spend the next 15 minutes talking about you two because we'll have plenty of time to talk about other people. So let's get to know Barb and Stephanie a little bit more. Superpower. Superpower, superpower. Um, Barb, what is your superpower? Well, I'm going to go with the non-obvious answer. Um, I know we don't post the videos of the recordings typically, but anyone that has either seen me record from my basement office that I've come to you know, know and love and share with the world over the last few years knows there might be a bit of a, a Star Wars theme that runs throughout uh, what I share with everyone. But my superpower actually isn't just... Uh, Star Wars trivia and memes. Um, what I've really learned about myself is that I'm incapable of filtering out information. So turn that into a superpower on data synthesis and transforming that in something that's usable. Um, really hard to monetize that outside of being good at pub trivia. So thankfully, uh, that's actually a really useful skill when all you know how to do is financial services technology. You know, I would add one. Um, beyond that, your other superpower is being able to not just synthesize the information, take all of that in, but actually 
create something that people are interested in listening to and following. I mean, your your fintech list for music, you're pairing up the music with all the articles. That is brilliant because I can't tell you how many things I've missed throughout the week. Everyone creates content, they write content, they post content, but I rely on your feet to see, oh, rats, what did I miss this week? Um, so I think it's, it's amazing. For those of you listening and had not yet followed Barb on LinkedIn, <clears throat> please do that right now. Pause the listening button and go to LinkedIn and follow Barb's list. Brilliant list is now publishing on Sunday, right? Sundays you can find it. And hey, listeners, I'm going to know if you did this or not, because what I want you to do is come find me. Tell me what your favorite song has been from the past playlist. Then we'll know if you actually were listening to Theo. Oops, quiz time. All right, Steph, what about you? Hmm, this is a tough one for me. Uh, but as I as I think about life as a as a working professional mom and a wife, and someone who was raised in a very organized household. So there's a whole backstory to why I am the way that I am. I would say that my real superpower is getting people who don't work for me to do things. (laughs) (laughs) I hate that. uh, So really leading leading cross-functional teams, both at home and at work and in my overall life. (laughs) <laughs> is how I survive and get through it, essentially. <laughs> we we appreciate people like you so much, the actual influencers in life. You're, you're what makes the world go round, honestly. If we didn't have all of you to actually lead us down the paths we should be on, we'd be lost. Stephanie, I need that. Can can you can you help? I need help. I need to borrow some of that because I can't even get the kids to do anything I want them to do. Everything I ask them to do, I have to repeat at least five, six times. And normally how it works is I'll say, you know what? I'm going to shut off the Wi-Fi router. That works every single time. But beyond that, let, like, let me tell you, if you if you come to my house, you will see signs posted everywhere. Like even in the kids' bedroom, there's a sign that says, Please pick up your dirty laundry, put it in the hamper. Thank you. Your mother. <laughs> Sell those signs on Etsy, please. <laughs> we need there are signs them. everywhere. <laughs> that is awesome. And I'll add, the, I don't think I have much superpower, but the one I think I do like and I appreciate is storytelling, which is why I'm doing what I do. I like to tell stories for other people. Um, I strongly do believe that everyone has an interesting story about them. And I've done it so many times throughout the last few years. And for those of you who are listening, if we do reach out, please do not tell me you don't have anything interesting to say because you do, and we'll find it. And that's one of the reasons why I've been doing what I'm doing in here with all of you is because I think there are a lot of amazing, amazing people who are really hard at work or who just behind the scenes doing interesting stuff. And we want to elevate you. We want to talk about you. We want people to hear about you because, you know, that's what makes the world a little bit better and more interesting. So please um, trust yourself and trust yourself in what you're doing um, because all of you human are doing amazing, amazing things. So next, I need two wishes from each of you. Um, Tell me two things that you want to see more or less for the show. What what would you like to see or hear more or less? And Steph, you want to go first? Sure. I, I think you and I are already aligned on this, Theo. So it, it bears some repeating and, and emphasizing. But certainly, you know, one, one thing on my wish list of 50,000 things one thing on my wish list is I I would love to see more female fintech founders featured. There, there is a myth out there that they don't exist or there aren't enough. And that is so not true because we know they're all in our networks. Um, we see them at conferences, right? They're, they're a part of our groups or group chats on WhatsApp. So I 
I would love to leverage Fintech Fuse and, and make it the platform for Fintech female founders to share their stories, their, their stories, their wins, their pitfalls, their strategies, and supporting other founders out there to grow and scale their companies. That's, that's a big priority and something that is near and dear to my heart. And if I could say my second wish out of my list of 50,000 is most certainly just fun. Uh, continue to infuse the fun in these conversations. At the end of the day, we are all, we're all, all human, right? So let's infuse that fun side um, of our guests to, to come out during the conversation. So those are my two wishes. I like fun. And before I continue, we need to give Barb a warm applause or a thunderous applause. I, I don't know. I am at a loss of words this morning. But thank you, Barb, for coming up with this brilliant name. Fintech Fuse is, is her <laughs> brainchild. And I think it embodies everything that we want to see and want to hear. Thank you so much. So, so I actually can't take credit for that. And Why? I've got the WhatsApp chat history to prove it. This was actually yours, Theo. I didn't say Fintech Fuse. So <laughs> I can surface it up. And I there's a line where I said, did you just name the new podcast? So you you might want to let me take credit for it, but I can't because it's actually yours. What? I might have used the verb, but no, not in that sense. Well, anyway, so you're the one who put everything together. and. You know, I I just appreciate what you do and for helping me keep my sanity on a daily basis. For those of you who don't know, I do lean on Barb and a few others um, on a very regular basis. E either I need to rent or I just need someone to say, hey, um, hi, me. I'm still here. I'm alive. So thank you, Barb. Anyway, so what are your two wishes? So I definitely want to see more of people telling it like it is. Um, there's so many of us, like the three of us here and, and many, many more, and we do want to come and talk to all of you who care deeply about what this industry does and how we make things better for real people through our work. And sometimes it can be really hard. And I think that's part of what I'd like for us to bring from how we tell people stories or help them give a place to tell their stories is sometimes this isn't easy. And why do we keep coming back to do something that's hard? Because there's meaning in it and there's purpose in it. And that's what draws us all in. So that's what I'd like to hear more of. Uh, I think what I'd like to hear less of is um, I don't want the PR handlers wrapper of your corporate story. We see enough of that. There's probably lots of places that want to foster that. So bring bring yourself with you. Don't bring your handlers with you. That's my ask. That is very much to the point. Don't bring your handlers. Um, yes, bring your authentic self. And I think this is the one place that we can be ourselves. Um, as, as I often say, we can't be everywhere all the time. We can't be everything. Um, Yes, there are a lot of people who post very inspirational pictures and stories about how you can do it all. I call bullshit on that. We can't do it all. And our journey is not easy. We fall, but we have others to pick us up and it's okay. We don't have to get everywhere by ourselves. And hopefully this will provide a place for everyone to share. So that's about all the update that we have for you all today. I am very much looking forward to bringing you all a new series of stories and inspirational stories and a place for us all to share. And hopefully you can all gain something from it. So thank you so much for joining us for a short but fun episode of One Vision Fintech Views coming to a podcast player near you. We'll talk to you all next week.